Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's 7 a.m. and I want to fucking die. But for reals, what's going on, everybody? Uh, recently, I bought a Mauser C96 and I asked if you guys want me to vlog the uh, whole trip. I'm flying back home to Florida. I got to go pick it up. I just finished my last minute uh, travel preparations. I've gotten four hours of sleep. About ready to head to the airport. And uh, yeah, I just got to say uh, bye to my, my dogs real quick. We got one there. That's the deer. And then we also have the horse. Can't forget that one. She recently just got snip snipped, so she's a little antsy right now. I also have Heather's luggage because I couldn't find my suitcase, so I'm gonna be rolling through the airport with a uh, light blue. I think it matches my eyes. So uh, let's just go ahead and fucking do this. Just saw a bumper sticker that said, vote for Bible. I was unaware he was running again this year. Huh, not gonna lie. Don't really remember how to get to the airport. Kinda just winging it. Never mind, found it. All right, just arrived at the airport. Now I have to go through TSA, and I hope I, I hope I don't get a full body pat down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to record that. But uh, yeah, off to the airport we go. This is the worst fucking part. Okay, just made it through TSA. They didn't touch my balls. Kind of upset. Two hours later. All right, so the flight landed, came back, immediately fell asleep. Oh, so goddamn tired. It's been like two, three hours since then. So let's go get the gun. Man, I don't really care what anyone thinks about Florida. This place is fucking beautiful. Like this, this is what you get to live with 24 seven. Why would you not want to do this? All right, get ready to run in and go grab it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film when we're inside. So if I can, I will. If not, I will see you guys in however long it takes. Boys, we got it. Here, here's the best part. The people that I fucking got it from, or the people that shipped it, they fucking, this is what they did. They shipped it in a goddamn Ziploc bag. A fucking, look at this. This is literally how, how they shipped it. They put it in a goddamn fucking Ziploc bag. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna I'm go home and then we'll look at it a little bit more, but fucking hell. This is not some goddamn rice -a -roni. This is a fucking Mauser. Okay, whatever. All right, we're back. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a day. Once I got back, I kind of just wanted to watch the election unfold. And, um, you know, I don't really know what's happening right now. It's literally the next morning, so I have no idea what's going on. But uh, let's talk about the Mauser. Fuck politics. So they literally sent me this Mauser and a goddamn Ziploc bag, okay? I don't, I don't understand it either. But here it is, here is the Mauser C96. So I tried to do a little bit more of a research into it so that way I could figure out what exactly I got my hands on because I'm not gonna lie, when I bought it, um, I was I was very ignorant about Mausers. I didn't know that much. Um, I usually try to do a bunch of research, but at the time I just, I didn't have the time to be able to do it. So I did a bunch of research into it and it looks to be a 1930s Mauser that was sent to China. Um, you can tell by these markings right here. I'm pretty sure those translate to made in Germany. So I'm more than positive that this was a Mauser that was sent to China or sold off to China because a lot of people actually might not know that before World War II, the Germans and the Chinese were actually buddy-buddy. It was really kind of contradictory to the German-Japanese alliance because Germany was sending a lot of aid, a lot of military advisors, and a lot of materials to China and actually helping them up before they got the alliance with Japan. So it really just goes to show you how little the Japanese and Germans actually cared for each other outside of like, you know, on paper. I mean, hell, even the Japanese decided to not declare war on Russia when Russia was kicking Germany's ass. So, you know, alliances in World War II, yay. But like I said, this seems to be a 1930s Mauser sent to China. And if you happen to know more about Mausers than I do, which would probably be a lot because I only did like an hour or two of research, let me know uh, more about it in the comments. But yeah, this was a really cool purchase. I'm glad I bought it. I can't wait to shoot it. I can't shoot it right now because I kind of want to take it apart and clean it, oil it up and lubricate it and everything before I shoot it. But it, it's pretty badass. I'm glad I got it. It shoots the standard Mauser ammo. Uh, you can actually get some in 9mm. I was looking for one of those, but I was unable to find one because they are kind of expensive and rare. But maybe one day, who knows? But maybe one day, who knows? I tried to cock it back with uh, just one hand, but it's kind of hard to do that and record. So look how smexy that looks. Definitely got to clean out the insides a little bit and lubricate it up just a tad. But yeah, this is the Mauser. I definitely plan to make a video on it. It's, it's so goddamn sexy. There was actually a better version for sale that was like way more expensive. It literally looked like it had come right out of the factory. It was probably the cleanest looking Mauser I've ever seen. But unfortunately, I didn't have, you know, thousands of dollars to spend. So I ended up buying this one and I'm glad I did. I, this is a piece of history that I've been wanting for a long time. And I'm finally glad that I was actually able to get it. Hey, Sasha. 
What you think of the Mauser? What you think of it? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at this lard ass. This is on... How, how much do you weigh? Like 90 pounds of solid mass? Yeah, who's my baby? Who's my baby? My horse is bigger than you, but you're still my baby. Even though you're just thick. Look at this, just thick. And then there's there's my other little dog. Look at that little, that little thing. That thing is a little diva. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you like the Mauser? Do you like it? I think it's pretty neat. What do you think about it? Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be all for today. Um, gonna kinda just sit here, see what happens with the election. Not sure what's going on. I don't understand politics. And neither does any YouTuber out there. So no matter who you voted for, it doesn't matter. Be, you know, vote for whoever you want. Don't let anybody else shame you for who you voted for, especially stupid YouTubers. We don't know anything. Us YouTubers are stupid. We know next to nothing, okay? Do not listen or let other YouTubers shame you for who you voted for. In case you don't know me, I definitely voted for Trump, but if you voted for Biden, I don't give a, I don't care. Vote for whatever's best for you and don't let other people shame you for who you voted for. It doesn't matter who wins, in my opinion, the president really doesn't have that much power. Local elections actually matter. So I'm gonna go, uh, so I'm gonna go play, uh, I guess, tug of war with, with my dog. I'm gonna probably go play some basketball, enjoy the nice sunny weather, and uh, probably stare at my Mauser a little bit more and see what happens with the election. Um, I predict riots. I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but if there are riots and violence happening, I predicted it, because this is the day of the, or after. I don't know what today is, what's today? Today the fourth? I'm not sure what day it is, what, what's today? Yes, today is the fourth, so I predict people will, will be violent and protest very badly. So, stay safe, um, helicopter. They found me, boys! All right, boys, we are finally back. I didn't record the whole on the way back because it's boring, it's just airport shit, it's not fun. I'm back, we, we got the babies, one that's trying to sniff my ass right now. The other one already licked all over my face, so, you know. Already got all the hugs and kisses out of the way. So we have the Mauser finally. Um, it's in this giant container. If you didn't know, you can actually fly with a firearm. I'm not gonna go into all the, the, the nitty gritty of everything you need to do because you can look it up and every airline is different. The DSA has a set of guidelines and every airline is different. And depending on what state you go to, you can, can bring in certain guns. So just, I'm not gonna go over all that stuff, but horse. Horse kind of missed me, but the firearm, can I help you? But the pistol is, if you can see it behind the horse, is in this giant thing, all locked up safe and sound. Let me uh, open it up real quick. Okay, getting these things open is always so much fun. Just get the one with the number pad, it's so much easier. I just needed a bigger one to fit this fucking Mauser in. I usually fly with one that's just a number sequence, you don't have to have like a million jingly keys, but unfortunately, I couldn't with, but unfortunately this Mauser's so big I couldn't use that one, so. You know, kind of sucks. But there it is, there's the empty case. And then I have the Mauser nice and snug in there. So I plan on putting it right here above the MP40. I'll get to work on that later. I'm gonna go eat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little adventure and I would love to do more like this. So uh, you guys know what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat some food. Bye.